Hi, thanks for your question, White Fox School. Those are good ones about healthcare. First of all, I, I want to be clear about something. Uh, we've been government now since 2007, and when we took over, uh, there was a shortage of nurses. Uh, since uh, 2007, our government's been able to train uh, and hot recruit and hire 3,000 more nurses than were here before, 2,000 RNs and another 1,000 nurses of other designations. Uh, and so that's a great start. We're also training more nurses here in the province, and they're staying in Saskatchewan. We also have rural bursaries and scholarships that encourage, provide an incentive for nurses to practice in rural Saskatchewan, uh, in, in communities like Nipawin or in the White Fox area where, where you kids are. Uh, we've also recruited more doctors. There are now 650 more doctors practicing here in Saskatchewan than there was just in 2007 when we, when we started, when we took over government. Uh, and so we know there's more work to be done, but a lot of progress uh, has been made. Uh, we've also been able to invest in new facilities in rural Saskatchewan. For a long time in Saskatchewan, government ignored health care facilities, even closed hospitals down. 52, in fact, were closed down by the previous government. We have been doubling the investment in health care facilities, opening up new uh, rural uh, care centers, also opening up brand new hospitals in rural centers, but also in bigger cities like Moose Jaw and in the city of North Battleford and the Children's Hospital in Saskatoon. So there's more work to be done, but we are making progress, and here's some evidence of that. In 2007, when we started in government, Saskatchewan had the longest wait times for surgery, the longest, in all of Canada. And now we have the shortest in all of Canada. So any time to wait for surgery is too long, but things are getting better, and we know we're going to get, uh, they're going to continue to get better. We have more work to do. Thanks for the questions.